<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I have a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about, a vapey thing I've been really impressed with. I have been vaping for nine years now, and I have used... I don't know, probably thousands of regulated mods. Honestly, maybe more than that. And it wasn't until now with this Inokin Proton Kit that I've seen an interface that is so easy to use, that is so intuitive, and that actually feels like a small little operating system running in your mod. I'm talking about this Inokin Proton Kit. It's topped with the Scion 2 tank, and I've been having a wonderful, I mean, hands down, wonderful time with this kit. And a lot of it's due to the way that this mod is made, the way that it is come together, the way it feels. It feels real slick, really cool in the hand. It's got a great clicky button, and it's got this little sort of joystick jog control down here. But in order to get to know all of this just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always do. That's right. Quick, short, upy, closey time. What? <clears throat> All right, we're out of focus. Good job. All right, well, we're here to look at the Inokin Proton Kit, top to bottom. Got a Scion 2 tank on top, but we're going to take that off for now and take a look at this mod here. Overall, top to bottom, I think this is a real slick looking mod, man. It's real sleek. It's real minimal. It's real palmable. I can just put it in your hand and, and it almost disappears. Not bad for a dual 18650 battery door on the bottom. It's very standard issue battery door, but it's also very clearly marked, not just here, but also way down in there. If you look, there's a big positive and a big negative. So you take your positive, put it against the positive. You take your negative, put it against the negative, snaps shut, real super easy, secure door. It's got these matching panels that kind of go up the side and only one of them is the fire button, the one with this little symbol here. Click it right there and you get an insanely, insanely clicky, nice little fire button. It clicks hard and it's fast and responsive and nice. Then there's your main screen. I love, I love this main screen. It tells me everything I need to know and more importantly than that, I love the opera operating system or the interface that this particular mod uses. It's by far my favorite, you know, whatever call it, uh, operating system, interface, menu system. It's easy to use and it's really easy to navigate and it's really easy to see everything that's going on. There's very little confusion. Plus the screen just looks nice, looks real pretty behind there. But I have this set up in wattage mode right now and the way that you navigate everything is with this little toggle right here. There's like this little joystick and it's just wonderful to use. So right now I have it set in wattage mode. If I want to change my wattage, I'm just going to hold the stick down. And once that wattage starts flashing, you can push this down to go down. You can press this up to go up. You can also press it left and right as well to adjust your wattage. And what I really like is it adjusts in 0.5 watt increments. I like being able to go from, you know, 60 to 70 watts with just two little toggles on this rather than like 10 button presses. Just makes it overall much easier to use. But we're gonna leave it back at 70 watts. I'm just gonna press the fire button and get it back to the main screen. You hit this toggle inward three times, one, two, three, to get to your menu system. And everything you need is right here. Custom TCRs, you can check, you know, you can pick uh, your coil if you're using wattage or canthal or nickel or titanium or anything else, it's all in here. So you can pick your coil material, there's custom TCRs, there is a curve, and there is a bypass. The bypass is full series. It is full unregulated series mode. So just be aware when you're using that bypass that it's going to hit hard. It's going to hit right around 8 volts as for a series. It's crazy hot and you need a high resistance build for that. <laughs> just a word of warning. Screen. Sure, you can have uh, whatever you want. It'll time out, you can have it dim, you can change the brightness. This brightness is all the way up at 100%, but let's say we wanted to turn it down or something like that. Here, we can turn the brightness way down. You can turn the brightness way back up. Everything within this menu system is so insanely simple to use. And then if you want to, you can change the colors as well. I have it set to green, but you can do sort of purple, gray, red. I like red too. Let's put it on red. Fuck, that looks cool. Overall, just really intuitive, really easy to use. I figured it out. No instruction manuals necessary. Inokin has a rad little uh, menu system here that I, I really, really love. It could be my most favorite menu system interface operating 
operating system that I have used on on any mod. I mean, in the last nine years. But it's very cool. It's a very slick looking mod. It feels nice and substantial in the hand. I think it's due to these right here. I think these are made of zinc, which carry a little bit extra weight. They carry a little bit extra heft. There's some plastic on here as well. This plastic on the back, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a knurling. It's not quite like a carbon fiber, but it's like, it's like a knurling. That feels plasticky to me, or at least aluminum. This is some aluminum here. The buttons on the side, these panels on the side are plastic. And then you got this Scion 2 tank. Scion 2 tank, really straightforward sub-ohm tank. Coil head goes on the inside. And every time you plug something on, it's going to ask you, same, it's going to ask you what it is. Like, it's like, what did you just put on here? Is this the same coil as before? Do you want to put it in wattage? Do you want to put it in, you know, uh, temperature control stainless steel 316 do you want to do titanium is this a nickel coil head so we're just going to do the same because this is the same coil as i was using before now the scion 2 tank it's a fairly solid very straightforward sub ohm tank coil head goes into the bottom you have to prime it up with some juice and you can fill it up by sliding the top open right here Boop. Fill up your juice right there, boop, close it, super easy to fill. The Scion tank, as good as a vape as it gives me, I do get a little bit of leaking, a little bit of juice kind of around this top part right here, especially when you're sliding these back and forth to fill it. When you slide it back and forth, you might get a little juice on the outside, maybe just a few little droplets here and there that I see. It's not a huge deal, it's a little bit annoying. I find myself wiping this tank off quite a bit, but yeah. That's the Inakin Proton, top to bottom. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to get back out to normal view. We're going to vape this thing. Just great. Just a beautiful vape. So that Scion 2 tank, it comes with two different types of coil heads. It comes with traditional, traditional round wire, multi, you know, multi-hole coil heads, I guess, or multi-core coil heads. It's the one with the four coil heads in it. And it also comes with the plexus coil head, which as I was talking about in the up close, it's a lot like a mesh coil head, but instead of being actual mesh, it's kind of more like the, I would compare it kind of more to the notch coil that Wismec was doing. It's like a sheet and then there's, there's holes throughout it. So it does kind of work and function like mesh, which is to say it's a fantastic vape. It feels smooth. It feels dense, dense. Dench? Someday I will learn how to talk. It feels very dense. It feels very saturated. I get a flavorful, smooth vape with this coil head in here. I was not a fan of that other round wire coil head. It was leaky on me. It got gurgly on me. And then it got real dry and gave me nothing but dry hits over and over and over again. But this one just works like a champion. I don't love the design and fit and finish of the Scion tank in general. I feel like it could really be tightened up quite a bit. This top slidey part is a little bit loose and it gets a little bit juicy and gooey sometimes. I see juice kind of on the outside of my tank and around the top. Every time I slide that around, it just kind of pushes the juice around, makes it a little bit messy overall. I do like the adjustable airflow. I've been rocking it just full open, especially with that mesh, or not mesh coil head, what's it called? The plexus coil head in there, especially with that plexus coil head in there. I've just been rocking it full open all the time and it's wonderful. It's airy, but not too airy. It's a little bit restricted. It just feels overall quite enjoyable. And this mod, man, I have been having a little bit of a love affair with this mod. Once you get it in your hand and once you hold it, it feels real techy. It feels weighty and substantial. It's got a beautiful display on it. It has this little like inokin little animated boot up thing that looks real nice. And the overall interface of it is just a joy to use. It's insanely well thought out. The main screen shows me everything I need to know. It's got battery level indicators. It's showing me my wattage, showing me, showing me my wattage. It's showing me how long I took a toot for. It shows you the voltage. It shows you the resistance. It does temperature control for all of the wires. You can do 
custom TCRs, you can set curves up in there, and you can do full series bypass mode with it as well. It took me literally 0.2 seconds to completely learn this interface and completely learn how to do everything within the interface. It just feels like a quality item in your hand when you're using it. It feels weighty. Like I said, it feels techy. It's got that nice screen, and now I'm just repeating myself because I really like this mod. I really like this Proton mod. The Scion 2 tank is fine, but I think the mod is where this Inokin Proton kit really, really shines. It's my favorite part of this whole kit. I could do without the Scion 2 tank and just have this mod and still be perfectly happy with this mod. The button's clicky, the button is responsive, it fires instantly right away. It feels like a fairly high performance mod. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands for this Inokin Proton kit? Nah, maybe a little bit. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from 60 to $70. So a little bit of vape budget hands are necessary, I think. It's a little on the pricey side, but not completely unreasonable. Now, if we were gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have nothing left to vape. Is the Inokin Proton kit something I would seek out and buy? I I really love this mod, but I don't really love this tank. If I could get the Proton, Inokin Proton mod separately for maybe a little bit cheaper, it's definitely something I would consider buying. I truly and honestly believe that Inokin has created right now the best interface that I've used in a mod. After using this Proton interface operating system, go, even going back to something like a DNA 250 or even the DNA 250 see it makes those evolve boards seem real clunky seem real like windows 95 when you're using like you know uh mac os 11. i, I really just can't get over how great this interface is to use. But now I'm just rambling, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll throw some links down in the description to where you can check out this Inokin Proton kit if you are so interested. But yeah, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's keep on vaping.